Hello there, and welcome to the series Introduction to Google Colab for Research. I am Renato, the instructor for the series, and today we are going to scratch the surface of building Python wrappers for C and C++ programs. So, Python is not considered a fast language, and you'll notice that many Python packages are actually written in C, and then there is a Python wrapper, so you can use the C functions and C programs um, inside Python. There are many ways how you can do it, but today I'm just going to give a quick tutorial on how to use one of these ways, which is the SWIG. So if you go here to www.swig.org, you'll find the SWIG documentation. And SWIG is a software development tool that connects programs written in C and C++ with a variety of high-level programming languages. So you can create these wrappers not just for Python, but there is here a series of supported languages. So you can do the same process to Perl, Java, PHP, C Sharp, R, Octave, JavaScript, and some others. So here you have the documentation, uh, the documentation, also the compatibility. And of course we also have a tutorial. So if you click here, there's a tutorial with some examples. And we are going to use this tutorial in our Google Colab. First we will write a Python wrapper for a C program. And then we are going to do the same thing for C++, a different program. So here, suppose you have um, this uh, C program here. It will calculate uh, the factorial of a number, the modulus of two numbers, and a function to get time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code here and write a file example. But before everything, we need to install Swig. So with apt-get install Swig, this will install Swig in our Google Colab environment and we'll be able to use Swig and write Python wrappers for C and C++. So Swig is installed and as I mentioned, I'm going to create this example.c that I'm just copying here from this tutorial. We see here we have nothing in our directory. Now I will write this example.c and now we have example.c here. Then, following the tutorial, you will need an interface file. So in order to add these files to your favorite language, you need to write an interface file, which is the input to Swig. So this how would look an interface for these C functions in this example.i, this interface file. So you have module, example, here you put header files or the function declarations, like here. You notice that we are using this extern here. So we have this function declarations here and here. And we write this interface file as well. So this is what we are doing here. We will now write this example.i and we are writing this um, interface file is here. Then we will just find out where is this uh, includes for Python 3. So running this Python 3 config C flags, we will have this user include Python 3.6m because here is how you would build a Python module. So turning C code into a Python module you need to do the following. So you have to run the swig python this interface file. You also use a GCC and you have your, your example and your example wrap and then you also have this linking the shared example.o example wrap.o to this um, example.so then you'll be 
able to import an example it will generate an example.py and you'll be able to import and then start using these C functions let's do it so swig python example.py that's defined here so we have the gcc the example.c the example rep.c here is our include python 3.6 then we are linking so here you notice that when we do this there is a problem because um, the reallocation again symbol fact cannot be used in a shared object so we need to recompile use this fpeak flag so we will do this now here we have our example.o example rep.c example rep.o and our example.python so if we import example now we can start so we can calculate the factorial of 5 which is defined here in this our example.c and we have the results 120 so the modulus between 5 and 3 is 2 and if we get time it's defined here and there is also being included time.h in this c file and we should get the time so we have the time what we did we had a c file and we created some python wrappers that we can use the c functions in python so it's very convenient and for this simple case was also quite simple so notice that as i mentioned before maybe you need to implement some fast functions to calculate some, make some fast computations and you would for example use c and then if you want to use these functions in c in python you can do exactly what i described and you notice that many python packages are actually written in c and then they have python wrappers maybe not using swig but there are other methods how you can also create this um, python wrappers or sometimes you just have some code it is already made in c and you don't want to rewrite everything um, in, in python and you just want to use the code you have in c or c plus plus so you can follow these procedures and you will have a python module that you can use a python wrapper around this c and c plus plus functions so now we move to a c plus plus example and if you go here to github.com swig there will be these examples for python and for example let's um, see this example for a class we have here the example c example header the interface and how you would run this so basically i'm going to create this example here so i'm writing this example 2.h and we'll have a class this class is a shape the shape will have, will have a x and y and then we'll have some functions to move the shape to a different position we can calculate the area calculate the perimeter so then we have a class circle that inherits from shape and the circle has a radius you can also calculate the area and perimeter and a square that also inherits from shape there is a width and we can also calculate the area and the perimeter so i will write a file example 2.h then i will write the example 2.cpp we will include the example 2 header file we will define the pi to this number here then we have this function to move the shape to a new location so shape move and we have these increments here into the position we have a function to calculate the area of a circle and here is where we are going to use the pi that we define here we also calculate the perimeter then we have the area calculation for a square and the perimeter for a square so we also create this file now we have our interface file this time we will just include here the header file 
let's do this now the difference here is that we need to include this C++ so before if you remember for C we just had this swig python example dot i but now here we have this swig c++ python minus o then we have this example to rep.cpp and the example to interface then we compile using g++ then we have the example to cpp the example to rep.cpp and here we have our include Python 3.6, that is the same what we used before. And if you don't know where it is in your system, you can use this Python 3 config C flags here. And then we're linking example 2 O, example 2 rep O, example 2 S O. I have here all the example 2. So now if I import, and here is also if you go to the GitHub class, and there is this run me. And you have this file that illustrates the proxy class C++ interface generated by Swig. So I'm just copying this. And we see that we're creating some objects, creating a circle with radius 10 and a square with uh, width 10. And this access a static member. Total of um, shapes were created. So it should be two shapes. Then this is the member data access. So we will set the location of the object. And this uh, will tell here is their current position and it will call some methods so here are some properties of the shapes so there's the area of the circle area and the perimeter of the circle the area of the square the perimeter of the square so here we have creating some objects so it's printing here creating some objects then example to circle 10 and a square, so a total of two shapes were created, their current positions were given here, the circle and the square. Then some properties of the shape, so the area of the circle, the perimeter of the circle, the area of the square, and the perimeter of the square. Then it uh, will clean everything, delete uh, by invoking the virtual destructor, and there are zero shapes remaining goodbye so here we've seen that we have now a C++ example so we have a class it's a shape and we have two classes that inherits from shape a circle and a square we define some methods to calculate area perimeter we have this um, interface file that we just included the header file this time and we use the swig C++ Python and then we compile, we link, and we have this example for 2pi that we can use. So let's take a look how this example.py looks like. So this file was automatically generated by Swig. Do not make changes to the file unless you know what you're doing. And here is how this wrapper working and it is automatically generated by Swig. So we see is a very convenient way of course things get more complicated if you have more complex functions but it's already uh, very handy to use Swig. That's it for today and I see you in the next tutorial.